So there's an amulet titan here, a little late night <laughs> a little late night drinking an amulet titan. Always a always a good decision. Yeah, this is my um actually This new user interface, there we go. I need a replacement for Celestial Purge. I don't think Celestial Purge is good in the side anymore. Alicia, what do you recommend? I was thinking maybe like a Tireless Tracker, a Bayloth, and another Path. Although, actually, Celestial Purge does hit Ren 6, right? Do you want to try the red version instead? This is the one you're, you're working on. Yeah, we can just do the red one, right? Uh, although this one I'm not running. Um, what was the difference? This one I have a force of vigor. And no crucible of worlds. This one I don't feel like I need force of vigor because I have the abrades. So I brought back crucible. Although I haven't really been using Crucible too, too much, to be honest. Uh, Braid's very good right now. Okay. So, red version. <laughs> Amulet Titan. Field of the Dead. Uh, this is the red version I talked about a little bit on Twitter that Alicia and I have been working on. With the core, which is my recent 5-0 list. Sand doesn't do anything. I don't really like this hand either. But I'll keep. If I draw a bounce land, this is still a turn four Titan. Yeah, Field the Dead's a backup plan. It's also just like a, a way out of certain situations. You can just flood the board really easily. Uh, I had an opponent surgical extra in, at F and M. I had nothing in play but a ton of lands, and I had a Zusa in hand. Um, an opponent surgical ex surgical extracted my prime times, and I I won that match. They were at like eight life at the at that point. I won that match by playing a Zusa, three lands. I had an amulet out, I guess. Yeah, I had an amulet out. And I ended up um, using Vesuva, Boros, Garrison, and uh, Slayer Stronghold to make three zombies, give two of them haste and plus two attack, and I swung for exactly eight out of nowhere. So next turn, Karn. That's pretty good against a uh, affinity deck. Honestly, Field the Dead is my favorite card in Amulet right now. Uh, 
Um, it is a 29th land. So normally we're in 28. Chalice on zero, sure. Um, so it's not really that much of a loss. Uh, the reason I, I did that that way was just in case I drew an amulet, I was in the best... Like, if I drew an amulet, I think I could have played a prime time there. So I was just putting myself in the best spot, keeping that bounce land in hand, and still being able to um, ensure that I had Karn. Once I knew my opponent wasn't killing uh, Sekira. So I could grab, like, Engineered Explosives, put it on two, blow up their board... That put Karn down to two. I might just do that. Because blowing up Welding Jar doesn't do too much. I can blow up their land though, right? Secure shadows die twice. What, what does that mean? So I have Titan next turn. Okay. Yeah, I can grab. I can just grab EE. E, blow up these two creatures. Go put Karn down to two. Um. I can block here to protect him. I think that's the best possible line. Uh, if I plus Karn goes to five, then I attack him down to three. Yeah, I think that's fine actually too. Just plus and blow up a land. Did I miss a Titan there? I, I've been drinking, so it's entirely possible. Let's go back. I had one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I could have tightened right there. Yep. This is why you don't drink and tighten. I don't think it really matters at this point. I mean, we are. I think we're too far ahead. I can't attack with Titan. Okay. I, that game, it didn't really matter. I think we were just way too far ahead. So things I want to cut, explore, um, Bajuka Bog. I mean, they were they were super dead. They had no lands in play. Um, I could plus destroy their old bowl. They still couldn't kill Karn. And the 27 lands.
putting in a pretty slow game there. One one big question I have in this particular matchup is, um, do I side in that second engineered explosives? And if I don't side it in here, then what's the what's the point of running it, right? Yeah, let's keep this. So I'm gonna go turn one amulet, right? Turn two grazer, get two four mana. Doesn't really do too, too much. I think I'm just going to bottom a Titan. I usually only need one. Unless I start off with a Thought Seize. What don't you see in paper? So both of us mold to six. I uh, have my biggest fear here, it's the Ink Moth Nexus, but luckily I do have that abrid. So next time I play Grazer, I have two, four, five mana, so just one mana short, unless I draw an amulet. Oh, yeah. Interesting. I would have assumed they would have gone the Ink Moth route. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't, I don't think I'm beating Ethergrid here. So I need to draw basic forest, right? Uh, I just need to draw land now. Karn's fine. I just need to draw land. Although Karn doesn't stop this Ethergrid, so... Luckily, Ink Moth Nexus, actually, which is one of the scarier things they have in play against me. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Looks like my opponent oversided. And that might give me a chance to actually come out of this game. So... What can I grab? I don't have lands in my graveyard yet. Um, so I can grab something like a Pything Needle, and then I can animate it next turn. But I'm probably just dead to this Ether Grid. Yeah, I uh, ran a league recently, and I lost to Blue Moon Breach, which is not a good matchup. I could just minus for Karn. Let's see, opponent's gonna ping me for one. Ah, oh, sorry, minus for Worm Coil. Yeah, start start pinging Karn. That's understandable. I need to just draw lands, and then Worm Coil can uh, win me this game. Land. Not a land, but I will take it.
So I, I could have braided like the minus for needle seems okay. What would I name on needle? Um, like Ethergrid? Yeah. All right, so unless, so I'm not out of it, I'm not done yet. Let's see, uh, you're right, needle is the right line. Okay, didn't help him though. And I still just need to draw lands. Land, nope, okay, I just need to draw a basic forest. Although I will be blowing up this ether grid, not the blood moon. Blood moon stops ink moth. Mm -hmm. So we're dead in 18 turns. Don't really like that. One, two, three. Okay, one more. Yep, ping me one here. <laughs> now they can ping two a turn or swing for four right here. I don't agree with that line. They should have eaten one, uh, I don't know. I, I don't like that line. Land. So this is a late night beer stream. So expect punts, expect mistakes, and let me know every time I'm wrong. Sure. See, that's a better line. Land. I don't think I side any differently knowing they're a Blood Moon deck. If I had just drawn one extra land there, I was fine. Or if I grabbed Pithing Needle, I was fine. The sand doesn't do much. It does have Karn, but it doesn't do anything else. Uh, I like the sand more. It has the early dismember. And I'll bottom that field. Hey, Leovold, welcome aboard. Next stop is Evil. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> you, you can have uh, punts when I'm drinking on stream. It's fine. They'll be wholesome punts, though. With the league potentially being represented by Watsy, we got to be super wholesome, right? Uh, so I could just grab the other forest to be super safe from Blood Moon. Um, I could grab a T West so we can do some cute things. <laughs> I'll get rid of that. I'm just going to... Uh, 
stay safe here. Yeah, uh, record is not 4-1 at the moment. This is the first match. The last league I did the other day was 4-1 with that awesome Mardu Stoneblade brew that uh, brewed on stream, live on stream. I said, hmm, well, let's make a Stoneforge deck. And just became a Mardu deck. Yeah, I think T-West is probably the right grab. Um, but I refuse to lose to Blood Moon two games in a row. Which is not a correct line. They have the Ancient Grudge, they have the Ancient Grudge. Um, I want to be able to... cast as many spells as possible next turn. Maybe I should have held the Amulet and held up the Dismember. I don't know, I don't think it's... Yeah. What do you think of that, Alicia? What do you think of that? Uh, so my opponent has nothing scary in play, so I'm just going to play the Azusa. This basic? Yeah, it's just the free basic they come with. My paper basics are much nicer. I don't even like these snow ones either. I like the um, cold snap snow. So Overseer is going to die. Hmm. Seems if I blow up Blood Moon, Vesuva becomes nothing. I actually the snow I don't like that. Okay, one, two, three, four. So this can become a five five. Watch me draw Rex Sage like a champ here. Uh, I think that's wrong. I think they should put it in the Vault Scourge. I think the life gain matters. Blood Moon stops that. So if Fizubu is already in play, um, Bef like on a forest before Blood Moon's in, then I give the Suva forest. But right now, the Suva would just be a basic mountain. And if Blood Moon got is, that was a really good draw. If Blood Moon's eliminated, then um, the Suva becomes nothing because I have the Azusa in play. It doesn't really hurt to hold it. Oh, nice. Okay, so my opponent's got me on a uh, four turn clock. I could use a Karn. That's all we side in the EE, right? That's not doing anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I draw a forest, I'm in really good shape, right? I just need to draw one of my two forests left in the deck. That's not good. That looks like lethal.
All right. Should have won that one. This is one drinking catches up with you. Uh, I probably should. But this is not exactly the stream I want to... If I'm going to be advertising streams, it's going to be a misplay amulet. The amulet big brain. Besides, you and, you and uh, Alicia kind of strong-armed me into playing right now. I blame you. So the list itself, I'm pretty happy with. Um, Feel of the Dead has been an overperformer. It makes my sideboarding a lot easier in matchups like Jund and Blue White Control. It also randomly helps against aggro decks. I got a human's opponent, which I just I flooded the board super hard. Well type faster, Alicia. God. Um I can keep this. I just need one more threat. Again, Azusa, this is like a really good hand. Uh, another Pact, maybe. I have the other Pact right here, so I'm on the play. Yeah, everyone just start blaming... Blaming Alicia. Okay. We draw an Azusa, we're in good shape. We draw an Amulet, we're in decent shape. Should not have lost uh, affinity at all. Okay. So I can get four mana right now, which is just not enough to really be super useful. So I'm just going to put a bunch of more lands in play. So right now if my opponent paths or dismembers or bolts or whatever they do, if they kill Azusa, um, I still have the amulet next turn. I still have the Patitan. <laughs> Good night, Fox. Up against Storm. Uh, unfortunately, I drew the Slayer Stronghold. Two, three, four, five, six. Let me think here. What am I going to grab? Um, Bajuka Bog doesn't do much. Uh, if they, I want to try to. I can't grab Pack the Negation. It's in my sideboard. Yeah, I can 16 them, but that doesn't kill them. Right? And I don't think there's that much of a difference if I kill them this turn or next turn. So, Pack the Negation being my sideboard is really bad right here. I can... I can get a Bajuka Bog. It just doesn't do anything. I'm going to field the dead and just put a ton of power in play. So I can get another Pact, doesn't do much. I can get like a Radiant Fountain, gain a little bit of life. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna smack him for eight and then just gain a ton of life. One, two, three, four, 
five. Yeah, they have one shot here. I don't think they have any main board answers to kill Titan, so that's why I didn't think it was super valuable to grab another Titan. Plus, with the bounce land in hand, um, the Tolaria West already in play. I don't need to grab a T West. Otherwise, I would have grabbed the T West over probably the Field of the Dead. Uh, but not having packed the negation main makes this matchup much, much harder. Ah, uh, shoot. Um, two cards left in hand. I'm pretty close to dead, huh? Are they gonna turn three me? Come on. Maybe I should have a Jukabog that won Serum Visions. So I choose what goes in the graveyard. I'm going to put Metamorphose in the graveyard because I think they need the uh, the draw, maybe. Either way, they're just going off. If they need that Serum Visions to beat me, like if it was two cards, maybe, but Serum Visions is like one of the worst cards in their deck. Especially when they're trying to combo off. Like, it doesn't do much. Alright, so... I'm paying a Pact. One, two... One, two... Three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, I mean, if they, um... Unless they also kill my Azusa, I guess... But if they grape shot my Titan away, I don't really care. Storm 16. Six cards now in hand. Mm -hmm. Hey, Beller and Jace. This is close, right? We still have five cards in there. I don't know what those are. I should be dead. True, I was thinking if they had some sort of... Yeah, so this is... Okay, they have, they have the remand. I will concede the remand. I was just looking and it was... Um, at that point, it was like 23. It wasn't exactly 26. So not having packed the negation in the main board definitely hurt me there. Um, opponent didn't use... They were on fetch list, so there's no blood moon I have to worry about. I think I'd rather have the Karns to fetch the Tormod script. Let's see. Nice. That's good. 
I've been winning a lot of store credit off Amulet Titan in my local store for a while. Didn't do there's a first, last night was the first time in three three months or so that I hadn't gotten store credit. Um I don't think there's anything else I really want here. This is a this is not a good matchup. There's an argument to be made to bring the Tormod script in and take the Karns out, and like bring like the Fire Spout in or something like that. I just don't know if, like, if I can turn three Karn on the play, like on the draw, I think it might be more likely. But on the play, I think I'm, I think Karn into Tormod script is fine. It's just as fast usually to Toleria West for a Tormod script as it is to Karn for one. Yeah, this is not a uh, this is not a great matchup here. Mhm. Mm I still have the uh, Karns to grab the E. I mean, I can just do this, right? I don't think they empty against me either. Um, it, these two are super close. Like, Ballista is just going to be like a situation where my opponent's at like three life and I shoot them. Um, EE doesn't do much. They're not going to bring in Damping Sphere against me. It hits them more than it hits me. Nope. Nope, and nope, and nope, nope. Try it. I need to draw land here. Yeah, Storm's entire plan is grape shot against us. Okay. I mean, we had a really good open there. We swung turn three with a Titan. When you lose after swinging turn three with it, I think we're dead here, too. It's, I don't think it's going to matter, but yeah. Two open mana. Yeah, we're dead. Let's finish this league strong. I'd like a nice 3 2. I mean, if our opponents turn 3 ing us both games, I don't think we're going to. I know Amulet can win turn 2 or turn 3. It just. We're, we're not going to be. Especially in a mull of 5. Uh, and that was more of a. That was a necessity mull. It wasn't a digging mull. Drunculate. Yeah, that's 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 what this stream should be called. Let's change this. Point rolls to five. <laughs> okay. 
Nice. So if we can draw another untapped land, um, nah, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gaming. I'm just gearing up for a turn four Titan here. My opponent's got natural Tron. Because I can't, unless I, my best draw is an amulet. Amulet. Like, if we had an amulet there, I could drop Karn and uh, try to do some damage. Okay, opponent doesn't have it, though, so our Karn next turn might be good. Like, if they just drop, like, a Worm Coil or something, that doesn't actually do that much against us. Main board Thrag Tusk. And the O2 bracket sucks. One, two, three, four, five. Not much to think about here. Just sequencing my lands is the big decision. One, two, three, four. Be right back.
completely different. Like I didn't even, like when we were looking through, it wasn't even an option. It wasn't even an option when we were looking through. We watched it for like five minutes, and when you pressed back, it went back to the Mothman thing, and we pressed resume, and it started over in the Mothman thing, so that wasn't even. Have you guys heard of the Mothman? <laughs> Has anybody heard of Mothman? Close the garage. One, two, three, four. I can't lattice them. Boo. Um, let's explore. Yeah, oh no. Uh, it is a 5-5. Five, five. Hey, that is actually kind of scary, I guess. Not having packed down negation is hurting me. Um, So I can't lattice them. Like I can. I think I just accept that Karn's dying, right? Yeah, I think the pithing needle is more important than the Karn. Actually, scratch that. We have Field of the Dead. And then I lattice them next turn. The secret powerful ability of Karn to do nothing. Plus one on nothing. Okay, so Blast Zone gets rid of my Pithing Needle. And my opponent's Expedition Maps. Sure. <laughs> yep. Let's bring Impact and Negation. Rex Age, you might be interested in a couple of braids. Things I'm not interested in is Bajuka Bog right off the bat. Um, Abordo Grazer is also not as good here. And Calmly Garden. I think I'd rather have, um...
I think I'd rather have Calmly Garden than Grazer. <laughs> it's Grave Titan, not Prime Time. Actually, if Grave Titan also made a plant token when and gave you two lands, like that, that's really the busted thing about it. I didn't just get the equivalent of what Grave Titan does. I also put two lands in play. Field of the Dead is amazing. But seriously, anybody in chat, have you heard of the Mothman? All right, there's a whole documentary my wife just watched with her friend Kat. There's a statue of Mothman in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. What is that? Sharp teeth, red eyes, holes in its wings, probably not great at flying, uh, talons. Hmm. Yeah, we keep this. Putin wrote in chat when I walked away to talk about Mothman. Uh, today, please. Excuse me, sir or madam, or however you would like to identify yourself. My friend was leaving. So I have a couple different lines here. I can flash in the snow-covered forest, flash in this, then play the scout, and have lots of scouts. Or I could be super conservative and um, don't play that line and be ready for a Karn liberated on three. Opponent hasn't heard of the Mothman, I'll ask. Have you heard of the Mothman? Um, so if my opponent has a Karn and exiles my Girl Turf and I spend my turn, boom, bouncing it and then saving it, uh, then next turn I will play Snow Covered Forest Azusa, so I'm still on track. Because I have the Azusa on hand, in hand, I think that's still the correct line. <laughs> Otherwise, I think it'd be correct to just say I can't beat Karn, so I might as well just um, take the riskier line. Like, if all my opponent does next turn is a Thrag Tusk, I think I'm fine again. Opponent could plus, and in that case, they're going to have a secure Tribe Scout. Imagine starting with an Azusa in play. Like, imagine game one, right? Like, <laughs> turn... Do you have any pr turn zero effects? Yes, uh, I start with an Azusa in play. Uh, that doesn't scare me. Okay. Uh, I feel like my opponent missed sequence there. You could have seen what you were drawing first. <laughs> they line a summer bloom. Yeah, just imagine that. Uh, so let's see here. Opponent doesn't have it. I think I just go Azusa. Problem is, I still need to draw a land. P 
opponent has uh, not replied. But my question, just an honest question, have they heard of the Mothman? That's it. You know, it's all, I don't know. Just want to know, hey, uh, have you heard of the Mothman? Maybe, maybe I should inform them of this Mothman. <laughs> They now have the link just want to know if they've heard of the Mothman chat if you haven't heard of the Mothman um so they have seven mana so they can pump it up yeah what's the point of blocking Ooh, you could have got a combat trick on me That doesn't, doesn't scare me. They blowing it up? Come on. Come on, opponent. You know you want to blow up the world. Yeah, you do. Don't worry. I'm top decking a gemstone mine. It's okay. It's okay, opponent. You probably just made a mistake there. That is not a gemstone mine. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, I'll have a Titan next turn. Ah, I messed up. I shouldn't have played the scout. I should have, uh, should grab Pithing Needle and, um, named Karn Liberated. That's the only thing I really lose to at this point. Too excited, too excited about my opponent. I don't know why they blew up O-Stone right there. Uh, apparently, they didn't realize I had no lands in hand when I failed to cast the rest of the lands I had. Sure, take my prime. Take it. Take another prime. I can just lattice you. Yep, could have minus for needle. I. It's not mattering. Worm coil. Okay, so the opponent's got two bodies. What do we do here? Okay, a minus. Yeah, I'm going to go to four. If I go to four, right, grab... Lattice. Block here, four kills it. Lattice did nothing. I can go to four, grab a worm coil. Yeah. I can't believe the opponent has not heard of the Mothman. Have you guys ever seen the movie Dragonfly? It came out in 2002 featuring Kevin Costner. Um, this movie is about a grieving doctor, doctor being contacted by his late wife through his patient's near-death experiences. This movie lost eight million dollars. That's ridiculous. Anyways, we we're talking, having a conversation today about the Mothman, and for some reason, I was thinking this movie. Except instead of Kevin Costner, I had a memory of this movie, and it wasn't Kevin Costner playing it. It was not. You're targeting. Okay, so you want a forest.
Uh, opponent, you just gave me blockers. The whole point of having these is blockers. Now I don't have to block with my scout. Oh, actually, I still do. Four, six. So I have eight, nine mana. Not what I want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I minus for lattice, my opponent. Ah, damn. Good news is I get to trade with one of those worms. Should grab DE. Alicia, you're too slow. I blame you. land it should just be like a two second delay right cool not what I'm naming Let me know, let me know, let me know. <laughs> okay. That's not that bad. I thought it was way less than that. That's not that bad. Take this. Yep. Nothing. Keep. Four EE would have been the one. Yep. And I could have lattice in the following turn, right?
And this is why we don't play late night drunken amulet when your friend Alicia says, you gotta do it. <laughs> I was happy playing my Stoneforge Mystic Jank. We'll get there. We'll win this one. We just need a tight and we have a fast start. It's not a map, it's not really worth abrading. It still gives him a card anyway. Hi, Karn. Yeah, if that was an expedition map, I would have abraded it, but it's not, so. It doesn't do anything for me. So, I want to flash in the Grill Turf. It's only the wrong line if I draw exactly, exactly am, an amulet, so. One, two, three, four, five. So if I draw a land, um, untapped or bounce land, I get to lattice them next turn. No longer a viable line. I can abrade, and then I can get the EEO supposed to. Hey, St. Telmo, welcome aboard. <laughs> if you enjoy um, Delirious Amulet Titan, I'm glad, I'm glad I can help you out with some Drunculet. So... A bunch of different lines here. Like, I still don't have a Titan. So I can Teleria West for a Titan. But I also don't have six mana. So I think I just need the Teleria West as a land here. I think my line... is I can't minus this turn because if they have a um, Thought Not Sierra, I get in trouble. So I'm going to plus Karn. Okay. Now, the question is if I abrade now or abrade later. So I can make it a 1-1 one, one walking ballista, right? And then my opponent attacks with worm coil. I block with secure tribe scout. My opponent gains life, doesn't matter. I untap. I have, I have um, if I play the walking ballista, I'll have two creatures in play. I minus lattice my opponent. My opponent attacks with worm coil. I block with ballista. 
I now have one creature in play. Then I get to animate Lattice. It's now a 6 6. Unfortunately, Death Touch is an issue. But now I get to a braid. Yeah, I think that's the line. Have a good night. <laughs> St. Elmo, have you heard of the Mothman? Well, you are in for a treat. This is the Mothman. Now, I don't know much about the Mothman. <laughs> but, uh, that thing looks kind of terrifying. Look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. So there's a whole story about it. But I should probably, alright, yeah, play a map, it doesn't matter. Sure, 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 sure. Sure, sure, sure. Empty your hand of useless artifacts. I'm actually going to block with the Zeusa and not the Ballista. So I probably should attack with the Ballista there. It doesn't really matter. So now um, my line here is block with the Zeusa, right? And I'm going to take use the Ballista, use the Abrade to take out the Worm Coil next turn. It seems soft. Aww. Sorry. <sighs> no, this is a good line. Oh, man. Yeah, this is just evil. Okay, just animate that. Destroy an artifact. You get some tokens. Cast that for zero. Blow them up. Oh, I blew up my own ballista. Doesn't matter. You dead. You dead, opponent. Opponent did not know about the Mothman, and that's why they died. Alright. So, the Mothman... <laughs> um... I don't actually know much about it. My wife just watched the documentary. I did not. I was busy uh, playtesting a Esper Fairies Stone Blade deck. Point Pleasant area, West Virginia, 1966 and 1967. Couple C man sized bird creature something. All I did is I watched the trailer for this documentary, and that was terrifying enough. Up against Leroy Kelak. Uh, yeah, I like this hand, I just need a payoff spell. I have all the mana. Being on the play lets me be a little bit more generous with this type of line. Yeah, you need to make the Mothman. Uh, I think it was on Netflix, yeah. I'm kind of curious to watch it, but stuff like that kind of Kind of wigs me out, so... Let's see. If it was my email, I'd show it on the screen, but it is not.
search Mothman. Mm. Nope. Not on. Not. Not there. Up against Dredge. Okay. So unfortunately, can't do too much here. I kind of like the name rented username, to be honest. <laughs> so, uh, Zuso is not a good draw there. But. Bajukabog is a good draw. Titan's uh, the best possible draw. Yeah, Garden's going to be pretty good here. Boom, game three life. Yeah, so Mothman sounds terrifying. Sure. Okay, so I now have uh, triple blue for uh, double blue for Tolaria West. I can make a 2 2 ballista, or I can put a. Hey, let's just do this. There. I. I actually really like Explore and Amulet Titan. Um, there just isn't enough room. Like, if all of a sudden Wizards of the Coast is like, you have to have 65 card decks, I'd be like, well, I'm putting four Explorer in here. Yep, opponent's not doing too much so far. Giving me plenty of time to find a... Three of Tulare West, four of Pact, or four of Titan. Heck, even Karn would be good at this point. I have 14 live draws. Ancient Stirrings hits a lot of those too. But this Walking Ballista could do some real damage. Boom, gain three life. Question is, um, do I flash? Sure. I think I bounced the gemstone mine here. Opponent doesn't really have a graveyard for me to get rid of at the moment. So I'm just going to grab a worm coil and see how they like that. just the, uh, there's also Prismatic, uh, Prismatic something, it's, a uh, Scape Shift runs it, make it so your mana can be, your lands are all every color, every basic type, helps out a lot under a, uh, Damping Sphere, I'll tell you that, if you want to meme it up, we should run that, I wonder how that with Field of the Dead works, Sure. So I could have grabbed a Tormod script and blown up my opponent's graveyard. I just didn't think it was worth it at the moment.
Like I didn't have any threats. Okay. Opponent's got to discard two cards. Come on, Titan. Titan, 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 Titan. It's not a Titan. Yeah, I should get the Tormod script, but this this league is not about optimal play. This league is about memes, and uh, I just want to see my opponent... Aw, oh, crap. <laughs> I was going to say, I want to see my opponent kill me um, through a worm coil, but... They uh, have a conflagrate. Yeah, I'm dead. Although, to be fair, if I grabbed Tormod's Crypt there, um, I was still dead. Because that Conflagrate just happened. Like, they just got that Conflagrate. Drunculate Titan. So even if I had grabbed the correct card there, it didn't matter. Uh, not Just not ever getting a Titan is what cost us that match. Turn 4 Titan on the play with a Bajuka Bog in my hand. Um, so I got Ramp, Titan, Bajuka Bog. That's all I want here. Turn 1 Scout. Turn 2, I can fla start flashing in that Bajuka Bog. This should be a win. I'm out of beer. I can, I can like go get up and get more. I have to get up again. See, this is all I needed last game was a summoner's pact. Pact Titan to Larry West. Bam, bam, pow, pow. Let's get rid of that stinkweed imp and that blood guest. Um, I don't think I get any faster by Zeus Aang right now. Yeah, this this uh this particular match is gonna be a beat down. And this is why I like Scout. Sure. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's get rid of that. Why not? Opponent brought an Alpine Moon of note. That's the hate that they brought in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, and I get to bounce Bajuka Bog back to my hand and have Sakura ready to use it again. 
Go ahead. Okay. Uh, prime. So we got a bounce land. One, two, three, four, five, six. We had two bounce lands. I could grab a field, but I, honestly, because I have another uh, pact in my hand, I can just grab a field next turn. I just want as much mana as possible. Oh. This is going to pay for the pact, right? One, two, three, four. And then if I draw an amulet, um, I can actually pay another, play another titan next turn. Uh, I'd have three, five, seven. Yep. So if I draw an amulet, the way I position my lands, I will be able to play another titan and attack in. So I can swing for lethal. But... They named Bajuka Bog. Like, okay. I mean, it makes sense, but. If I don't draw an amulet, I'm just going to car in the great creator them. Sure. No amulet. Don't see how my opponent can win now. Yeah. I actually forgot I lost game one. <laughs> I thought I just won the match. Don't lose against Dredge. <laughs> so, anybody watching, if you like the content, please be sure to follow. If you're watching this on YouTube, please post a funny comment. Uh, Mothman comments are particularly relevant for this stream that's the theme i hope i have it i hope i have a three two considering i, I really punted i punted away match one apparently I, oh thought i had a second to grab more beer uh this hand if this is a forest i'd keep this or a gemstone i'd keep this but it is not so this hand sucks like it's got the bajuka bog, but it's got nothing else. Like I don't think I keep a hand 
just because that is bajuka bug. We are all Mothman. Yeah, that's kind of terrifying. Yeah, I mean, this hand just doesn't do anything. If I knew... All right, let's, let's, let's do the math. All right. Notes. Okay, so amulet. I have eight. Nine. I'll count that. Ten. Eleven. I'll count that. Nineteen. It's a 33% chance I draw a green source. Yeah. Ba -ba -da -ba. Oh my goodness. So much better. All right, what do I bottom here? I'll bottom a scout. Look at this hand. If you, like, made a hand against Dredge, it'd be this with an amulet. But, um, <laughs> opponent did... People, like, side really weird against Amulet. Um, like, Ancient Grudge against me, like, I, I get it, but ain't, the Amulet isn't killing you, especially Dredge. Like, if, if I have an Amulet in play, it just means I'm killing you faster. It doesn't mean I'm... It's not letting... It just may let me kill you faster. The Titan is the issue. Bajukabog is the issue. Like, actually, I don't... The more I think about the Alpine Moon on Bajukabog, like, I don't actually hate that line. <sighs> so, question. Do I bajuka bog them now? Yeah, I think I do. What do you guys think, chat? 14 seconds. So my lines are either play the secure tribe scout, let them dredge that life from the loam and then bog them next turn or bog them right now and slow my own development down yep good glad we're all on the same page so if i actually like letting my opponent dredge once anyway because unless they hit some godly stuff off of this and actually if they do hit a bunch of dredgers off of this right unless they unless they have a cathartic reunion in hand like they need to have a lot of stuff for me to be really punished here yeah that, okay well it's not what i wanted to see I, I want them to play into the bog. Sure. See? Um, yeah, two lands. Doesn't matter. Dredge it up. Put some good stuff in there. Ask my opponent if they've heard of the Mothman. Really scary stuff with people on the side of the road. This opponent has not heard of the Mothman, but they did reply. Ancient Grudge again does nothing. So I could bog them right now so they don't get a dredge. Don't really care about it. Opponent's not even dredging. Well, I'm bogging you now. P 
opponent needs a land. So if opponent wasn't untapped, I would have uh, done this a little bit differently here. So what I should have done is played the Simic Crow, the technically correct play, play Simic Crow Chamber, bounce the bog, then play Azusa. Didn't matter because opponent is not running Slaughter Pact, and if they were, I'd still win. Um. Yeah, fine with that. So, cannot attack with Titan. Right, I'm one colored mana short. I don't need another Titan. Only have three types. I'm going to get just a couple different names here. Hey everybody, if you've heard of the Mothman, please let me know in chat. If you've seen the Mothman, yikes, yikes, if you've seen the Mothman, yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, here we go. 0 2 start, 3 2 finish. Let's, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Just need a land and stirrings is a land, so I think I'm actually gonna keep this. I don't know if it's a sneep, uh Saint Elmo. By the way, Saint Doom, Saint Elmo, we should be friends. Well then better become an emote. If you're just teasing me, Alicia, I'm gonna be pretty upset. Uh Mutavault into Ether Vial. What's this? Spirits? Okay, so opponent's pretty dead. <laughs> yeah. Matt, 38, holy crap. <laughs> you don't believe it? Uh, I got beer. Beer, you can't see it, there's beer on the floor. Empty cup of beer. Um, I'm coherent. So when I get, um, my wife will tell you, when I uh, drink, I kind of get fixated on things. And right now I'm fixated on the Mothman. It's all I can think about right now is this damn Mothman. How terrifying it would be to see this goddamn Mothman. Uh, that's my one swear. On the stream. That's it. Alright. Uh, so let's see. How much mana do I have? So. Um, I play a bounce land. Right? I get. Two. Four. Six. I play a titan. Titan gets me. Yeah. My opponent's just super dead. I mean, especially with the. Like the grazer. I was thinking I could try to be cute. But. I mean. They're just completely tapped out. A vial on one. Vial on one means I think I'm going to, um, do two primes. Yeah. I can attack with two titans this turn. Okay, so forest, mutavolt, ether vial. Come at me, chat. What are we playing against? I was definitely going to double titan right there. It's a 20, but uh, I think attacking with one Titan is incorrect. Um, 
I, I could definitely attack with 20 there, but because my opponent had Ether Vial on 1, if they flashed in like like a, a any creature, they could block and not die. It'd be like 1 life. I mean, they're still just dead, but if I attack with 2 Titans, I can um, 8 Double Strike. Uh, no, I don't think it was 32. I think it was 24. I think I can only give Double Strike to one of them. Oh, no, I had the pack, so I had Azusa. I could give Double Strike to both, right? Yeah, okay, so it's 32. No, you can't always Double Strike both. Sometimes you can only Double Strike one. Right? No, I'm wrong. Alright, what am I up against? It's a Vile deck, so I'll bring in a Braids. They probably have Creatures. What am I playing against? Yeah, you can double strike both. I don't know. As long as you, the first Titan trigger that resolves, it has to just get um, regular lands that give red and white. Could we have made... Did I have a Teleria West? You cannot haste three Titans with only two amulets because you only get two untaps on the um, Slayer Stronghold. So... Yeah, I can only attack with two. I could think I could have made three. I think I could have made four Titans, but still can only attack with two. Yep. Yeah, I like that. No idea what my opponent's playing, so... Mutavolt, Forest, Aether Vile. Uh, do we keep this? I'm gonna keep this. We did have, we had T-West? Yeah, this end is better. Um, I can't cast this. I think I'll bottom it. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm, I probably actually should have bought him to Forest. Yeah, I should have bought him to Forest, kept the Abraid, um, because I have the Amulet Simic Growth. Yeah. This end's still way better. Slivers! I would not have guessed that. Alright, well, I cannot block here, so I need Hornet Queen. If we get to a game three, Hornet Queen is coming in hard. So, um, so I'm going to tighten them. Once at one card in hand. Two, four... So yeah, I'm going to play this, flash in the forest, and then I have Titan Mana next turn. Bones got one card in hand. I actually forgot Slivers was a thing. They did get a bunch of help from um, Modern Horizons, right? Sure. Yeah, 
Yeah, I definitely need Hornet Queen in this matchup. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know, flying is pretty real. I'm gonna attack. Uh, what would even put the EE -E on two? Like, that, that, so I think a walking ballista would actually be better than an EE -E right now. I think my line is attack. Uh, opponent lost connection. So I'm going to cast Prime, right? Uh, attack with Prime for 8. Maybe, but they only have one card in hand. So I'm not super worried about that. I mean, they have Regenerate, right? So actually... Because they have Regenerate, the list is better anyway, and they're holding up a black mana. The opponent could be holding a Dismember, right? So I'm going to attack with Titan. Yeah, I don't see how they're winning this unless they have a really, really strong start. They have a black mana right here. I think I'm going to swing grab Ballista. Isn't Ballista just better? So alternatively, I could have bounced the forest, kept the Teleria West in play, and then got a bunch of zombies. No, they can pay black, regenerate this permanent. It gets bigger if they have a swamp, but they can just pay a black to regenerate. So this can tap for any mana. So this can tap for any mana. So this can give something regeneration. I should have got a gemstone, not a T West, but I don't think it really matters. That's just kind of being cute anyway. Yeah. Yeah, they should do this. Save two life. Yep, regenerate it. Yep. Yeah, I'm definitely going Ballista. So even if they have something like a Damping Sphere, they have to get Damping Sphere and kill my Scout to actually kill me to my Pact. Oh, hey, Matt. Uh, so I didn't, I couldn't actually, I could grab the Double Strike land, but um, I couldn't activate it that turn. I did not have enough mana to, it costs four mana in tap, so I didn't have enough mana and I had the Vesuva in my hand, so I couldn't, like, Vesuva Boros Garrison to get the red-white by itself naturally. So I couldn't actually activate it. So the Double Strike land is actually probably one of the worst lands of the deck. Like, it only was really a combo play or to get over, like, a, like a Worm Coil. Yeah, so next turn I can attack and Double Strike. Okay, one, two, three, four. I 
I think I just make a giant ballista, right? I'm trying to think of any reason not to. I was sloppy. I should have um, used the scout first. Four, three, three. So I can make a 3-3. Three, three. I think making a ballista is fine. Yeah. going to regenerate it, right? I'm just trying to tap their creatures down at this point, too. Yeah, but now they have two tapped creatures. I don't think I finished it well, but yeah, that was my plan. See, now they can't block my prime time and kill it. I guess they could have given a double strike. Maybe that was being too cute, but this way I do have a walking ballista in play. So now I get to kill this, right? Oh, they can tap itself. Okay. Um, That's fine. Next turn, my opponent's dead. Anybody see a line that could have killed him faster? There probably was one, but this was a this was a pretty conservative line. Now they're dead.
Not that it's dead here. Wait, I don't want the red bite floating yet. Yeah, I meant to bounce a different land. Alright, I just punted there. <laughs> Yeah, either way, they're still dead. I just wasted two mana. <sighs> so what I should have done, I should have bounced a different land. Um, and that way I had four mana floating, so I double strike my Titan. That's 16. Then I have four from the zombies. Uh, so they don't block. If they block the two zombies, they still take 16. So they're dead either way. It doesn't really matter unless they have exactly... Dismember in hand, uh, Path Exile, something. <laughs> so if I'd gotten a second Titan, Alicia, um, and I attacked, then I would have had 6, 12. Yeah, Feel the Dead is like reinvigorated my love. Like, I've never fallen out of, fallen out of love with Amulet. But, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, unfortunately, I just wasted that mana. This is where I miss Kabira uh, versus Radiant Fountain, but. All right. The amazing th <laughs> Drunkulet 3 2. So let me know, guys, what you think of the Mothman. Terrifying, right? The, the deck list is fine, so I lost Storm. Um, this necklace is not built to beat Storm. Pack the negations at the side. I have no additional counter magic in the side. I'm gonna, probably going to lose that matchup, especially when they turn three me both games. I think I had a chance game one because I actually had the turn four kill on the play, but they had a turn three kill on the draw, so that's better. Um, and then they had a turn three kill on the draw again. <laughs> not beating that. Um... Against Affinity, if I had grabbed a uh, Piling Needle with my Karn, if I'd remembered that Piling Needle does stop that annoying enchantment, I do think I should have won that. I think my opponent oversided there. Yep, if Storm does become a bigger thing, um, I'm actually, I think the first thing I'd put in my sideboard is Negate. I think Negate is better against them than Rurik's are. Yeah, so Pack the Negation is, I think, controversially in my sideboard right now because uh, there's a few reasons. So Teferi 3-drop makes the blue-white control matchup where Pack the Negation is normally really good. It makes it a lot worse. Um, so don't really love... Don't really love Pack the Negation against blue-white control anymore. Like, it's still good, but I'm not tutoring for it as much. Uh, Karn makes the Tron matchup a lot better. 
especially if we play correctly, <laughs> which we did not see. We won, but we didn't play correctly. Um, so we don't really need the Pact as much main board. We don't need as much help main board against Tron because we're already favored because of Karn. Um, so, and there's a lot more Jund in fair decks right now. Like, I've been, there was a, a couple leagues in a row where every single match, every single match I sided out Pact. So I was like, why do I have it? So I went through this whole list, and I have uh, spreadsheets. So, all my spreadsheets. All my spreadsheets. So I have spreadsheets, and spreadsheets, and spreadsheets, and I figure out what matchups I actually want specific cards in. Like, I go from there, and if the majority of matches I'm trying to beat have that card, don't, like, for the example, like, majority of matches I'm trying to beat, Pact the Negation just wasn't doing it. Put in the sideboard. I still think it's an important 75 card. I think it wins us a lot of games. I do like it in the main board because even in matchups where it's not good, like, I've used it against 8 whack. Like, it's, like, I've, I've won matches against Jund because I had Pact the Negation, and that's nice. But then all the times you have Pact the Negation, you draw it naturally, you don't want it, or your opponent has to ferry out, or Cavern of Souls, or Liliana the Veil, and you don't have any, you know, there's a Fulminator Mage staring you down, you don't double blue, whatever it is. Uh, I think that it's a fine sideboard inclusions right now. Hey, Big Monkey. Um... So, yeah, let me double check. Uh, Matt, anything I've seen from the new set? Uh, so, M20. I like Field of the Dead. Uh, I tested Golos. I'm going to get to everyone's chats, chat questions real quick. Um, where's my Explorer? I made an Explorer heavier list with Golos, and this is built around Field of the Dead. There's one main and one side. And in this particular version, Golos was used as just kind of like a a uh, sad robot, a solemn simulacrum to fetch up non basics, to fetch up Field of the Dead, and to help progress your mana. Never cast them, ran them through two leagues, uh, three two both. <laughs> Never cast them. Um, those were also drunken matches, so maybe I could have gotten, maybe I could have been a little more optimal, but I'm happy uh, just hanging out, chilling, and three twoing. If I'm being more competitive, I'm not happy with a 3-2, but if it's almost 1 in the morning and I'm drinking beer, I'm happy with a 3-2. So nothing yet from the, seen from the new set in regards to Amulet. I think I didn't think Amulet got too much. Uh, Pack the Negation sideboard right now, yes. Yep. Uh, I would also run on a gate side if my meta had more Tron. How has 1 EE been main? Um, like, if I didn't have Karn, I would probably want a second EE main. The thing is, is that I don't think humans is... All the decks that I've been playing with Stoneforge Mystic in them have been beating up on humans. So I don't think humans is in as great of a spot as it probably could be. I think a lot of humans players have dropped humans in favor of Stoneforge Mystic decks right now. I don't think Engineered Explosive is that great against Stoneforge Mystic because we don't care about the germ. Um, go ahead, gain four life. We don't care. Um, our 6-6 six, six is just bigger. So I've been fine with one EE main. I think I'd rather... I'd probably consider the Hornet Queen main before I end up running the second EE right now. I've been really liking the Explorer and the Grazer. Big Monkey, what decks are good right now in Modern? You want to... Good complicated modern deck for roughly eight hundred. Is that eight hundred dollars paper or eight hundred dollar eight hundred ticks? Because eight hundred ticks will get you whatever the hell you want. Um, Wars is really good and really complicated. I, I do think Amulet Titans in a very good position right now. I think that a big reason why Amulet Titans always competitive is that there's very few players out there that know how to uh, actually beat up on it. Excuse me. Um, I'm getting drunk sleepy. Um, there's very few players who actually know how to play against it. There's always... I keep I keep seeing, even competitive leagues, um, players like Assassin's Trophy, my amulet. And I'm like, come on. There's a time and a place. 
Um, so if I don't know, uh, I'm not a very good budget player. Uh, if you can get Amulet Titan for $800, I'd recommend it. There's a lot of great learning tools for it. Francisco's made a couple of, bunch of uh, tutorial videos. If you've got a couple hours to watch those, you can read a couple of my guides on them as well. Um, watch some. I, I like talking through my lines. Even when I'm making mistakes, I still point them out. And I do have a bunch of leagues where I am on game, rushing, uh, playing through, and explaining every single line, why I do what I do. Uh, even situations like where, oh, I'm going to bounce this bounce line to my hand uh, because if I draw an amulet, I get six mana next turn, where if I keep it in play, I'm stuck at five and play to my outs. Little things like that uh, really make you a better amulet player, like thinking ahead. Um, I'm definitely sobering up right now. <laughs> I'm getting sleepy. When I started this stream, you guys can go back and check the tape. Uh, it'll be on YouTube. Um, <laughs> humans is really good. Yep. Stoneforge is bad versus humans. I think Stoneforge is bad versus humans. I think Stoneforge decks are good against humans. For example, the decks that I've been playing Stoneforge with, um, like in the Modern Streamers League right now, I'm playing... Black White, Midrange, Stoneforge Mystic, yeah, and this deck beats up on humans pretty well. My last stream, I ran Mardu, Stoneforge Mystic, and this deck Beat up on humans pretty hard. This one's on YouTube. The Streamers League videos are on YouTube, too. Eight, you have $880 to spend. Um, just round it up to $900. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I, I wouldn't recommend a hive mind list. I, I'm not a big fan of hive mind parts. So I don't like the play patterns hive mind has, I guess. I like the more mid range. We are not good if the meta gets faster. Like if the meta is um, Neoform, Infect, Devoted Druid, Storm. No play Amulet. Amulet will be absolutely terrible. Um, but if the meta is Tron, Blue Way Control, Jund, Humans, Urza, a bunch of decks that can turn three, turn four, but aren't turn twoing you, I think we're fine. Yeah. <sighs> so, um, Big Monkey, you have not answered the question. Have you heard of the Mothman? Where is it? Look at that thing. Like, what would this be? This would be black, green, red? All black, maybe? Maybe. This thing's absolutely terrifying. Look at that. If you just look at, like, Google Images. Look at that. What would you do if you saw this thing? It destroyed a whole bridge. What's the best picture, though? Like, look at that one. Probably. Oh, look at this. Man takes a picture of... Damn thing's Icarus, huh? See, this looks like a Power Ranger, like, enemy. Like, oh no, it's... Rita has summoned this moth 
thing. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, I'm gonna drink some water and go to bed. No, I'm gonna have tea, not water. Don't wanna be dishonest. Tea. Yeah, it's time for sleep. I'm East Coast, East Coast boy. So, <laughs> hopefully you guys had fun. I'll be posting this on YouTube probably tomorrow, or maybe at the latest on Monday. Check out the Modern Streamers League coming up on Monday. We have Gabriel Nassif as a special guest. We also, I believe, will be officially recognized by Wizards of the Coast on Monday, which will be nice. And we also have the return of Sean Seacrease. So definitely, definitely check us out. Modern Streamers League on Twitch, modernstreamersleague.com. Check us out on um, Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And then on Wednesday, we have Drake Sasser as a special guest. So fun times. The Monday after that, we will have Caleb Schur. And I believe the Wednesday after that, we have um, Paul. Paul, why am I blanking his name? Awesome modern player, Paul, friends of Caleb. I wrote this down, so I don't have to remember. We'll see it. It's two weeks from now. <laughs> Either way, Monday, Gabriel Nassif, return of Sean Seacrease, and as always, you will have me on the forecast of doom. So check it out. I will see you all then. If you guys have any questions about decks, you can message me on Discord. I will reply. I'll get back to you. Let me know. Either way, have a good night. This has been a lot of fun. <sighs> Adios. Beware of that Mothman. <laughs>